Hey, if you want to close more high ticket sales in 2024, I'm going to show you one simple trick that I've used again and again and again to close those people in the higher ticket type of offerings, especially in the health space, but also in elsewhere uh, to really get their brain moving and also get them propelled uh, to buy and certainly buy at a higher ticket. So this is the first time joining one of my lives. I'm Brian Zikansky and I help uh, high ticket um, offer owners convert some of their low ticket uh, buyers uh, into high ticket um buyers using my phoneless um, email uh, process. So again, no sales calls whatsoever, no webinars, none of that. Do everything via email uh, and chat to get people moving from where they are right now, either a low ticket buyer or somebody that's went through your webinar and didn't convert and move them to your, to your higher ticket offer and uh, get some more profits rolling into the door into your business. So the one thing I am going to talk about and I've kind of used frequently, especially with my clients, is talking about the fact that a lot of your clients are kind of self-sabotaging themselves. The reason that they're not getting to their health outcomes or whatever type of outcome they're looking for and calling out their audience and saying like unconsciously or not, you might not even realize you're doing these kind of things, but you are during, doing certain actions that are hindering yourself or, or stopping you from getting that outcome that you want the most. Really making the case that like your outcome is so close to you if you stop doing these actions and insert, um, it could be the fact that you just stop doing these actions and you get that outcome right away. For a lot of the high ticket type programs, like okay, they have to instill a new set of uh, habits and beliefs uh, as well. So I just wanna share a couple different examples of how this has worked in practice. These are a little bit more on the low ticket side, but can really work uh, for you as well. Really thinking about like, what are those actions that your audience is taking right, right now that is kind of slowing down their progress? And especially in the high ticket space where there's a lot more personalization, maybe you're working with them one-on-one, -on -one, this is where you can really call them out and saying like, if you're doing this, it's probably uh, leading you to the problems that, that you're dealing with right now, the problems that you hate the most. And I can get you to that promised land. I can get you that to that uh, outcome by just pointing these things out kind of as a, a third party um, <clears throat> observer and give you the habits that you need to further accelerate your progress or get you there faster uh, in less time. Uh, that's kind of the promise of a lot of high ticket programs that you have out there. I want to get there faster. Uh, I want to get there in less time just by paying you a, a certain fee, whether it's 15, 20, 30, uh, 50 grand uh, as you go along. So let me show you a couple of examples. Again, these are all like email examples, but I think they put into practice like, okay, like if your audience is doing these certain things, uh, in this case, uh, eating something for breakfast, it's the reason why they're not achieving their weight loss goals. So for this one, uh, we're selling a variety of different low ticket products, a lot of different supplements, MCT powders, things like that. But as you go through, you'll get a sense of like how you can start using it for your market uh, as well. So, you know, for this one, it was uh, a supplement that helped with weight loss and things like that. So you can see the opening line, a lot of it was around gut health as well. So did you know that once you heal, uh, heal your gut, the fat just falls off? And it's true. And it starts with what you eat for breakfast. Most people think they're eating healthy foods that are nourishing their body. But the truth is they're unknowingly wrecking their digestion and fueling bloating for the rest of the day. So you can see how I'm kind of inserting in their mind, like actually like all those dealing, like all those problems that you're dealing with in this case, like they're dealing with some digestion issues, they're dealing with bloating, maybe they got some embarrassing gas and really pointing out like, okay, there's probably a specific action in your day. Like let's point it to breakfast. You're probably putting something on your breakfast plate right now that if you just stop doing that, all your problems are going to slowly go away or maybe instituting a new habit. In this case, we're instituting uh, a new habit uh, by giving them a digestive uh, supplement. But you can see here is, again, talking to the good news that small changes can make all the difference. Once you remove this specific food on your breakfast plate, your tummy will shrink, your bloating will disappear, and your energy will skyrocket. So you can see how you know we're really calling out and making it really clear that you are not that far from the outcome that you're looking for. It's one, you know, maybe taking away some one specific thing from your breakfast plate, kind of developing a lot of curiosity. Now they're kind of sitting at the end of the, the email. Again, this worked really well in terms of using a quiz. So this is where I kind of put a bunch of different healthy items on, on the menu, thinking like, why is watermelon or blueberries or strawberry yogurt? Like, how can those things lead to my digestive issues, the bloating, the, the things that I don't want the most. So again, opening them up to some education, especially when you get on a, a sales call with them, or in my case, go through an email or chat uh, to get to their story and the outcomes that they're looking for, pointing out specific things that you know your guru or you as the coach 
can really point out for them to accelerate their progress, get them away from the problems that uh, they're dealing with right now and get them to the outcome they're looking for. In this case, losing you know 15 to, to 30 pounds and what they're looking for. So again, this is one of the emails that worked again and again for me. Uh, you can see a couple different other examples. So again, like calling out <clears throat> you know, conventional wisdom. So filling your breakfast plate with fruit is one of the best decisions you can make for your health, right? Wrong. In this case, we're kind of calling out like, again, the fact that anytime you put food on your breakfast plate, it's probably a good thing for your body. We're kind of challenging that and saying like, actually, there's one specific fruit or, you know, in this case, like strawberry yogurt that is uh, kind of fueling all this stuff that is wrecking havoc on your stomach and all those kind of things. So you can see how I'm kind of feeding that over time. And again, as I kind of dig, you know, I dug into um, these things over time, I want to provide one other example that I was going to go with around coffee. So like this was another one. Again, coffee is one of the healthiest things you can put in your body with recent Harvard studies proving they can, that drinking it can lead to healthier heart, blood sugar, and even weight loss. So again, for this market that was mostly women, they're drinking coffee every day. I want to make them feel good about their choice that they're making, but then call out like, okay, however, if there's one thing that counteracts all these health benefits, it's adding cream. So again, they might be adding cream right now thinking that that enhances the flavor and all those kind of things. But I want to point the finger at that one specific thing that is uh, leading to all the problems along the way. And again, calling them out, all like calling out those specific things that they might have uh, and giving them um, you know, something else, like giving them a little bit of curiosity in terms of like what should they add to their coffee uh, to be able to flush out belly fat, in this case, an MCT type of powder. Um, and again, maybe one more example, again, uh, uh, where again, I don't, I don't share exactly what they're, I don't share exactly that it's cream that is, uh, you know, destroying their health or, or leading to those bad issues. I put it more in a quiz type of format where what co coffee added wrecks havoc on your metabolism. So again, as you think about your audience, like what are those things that you could call out? What are those specific actions that they do all the time or that they think is conventional wisdom that is actually, th they're doing it because they think it's going to get them to the outcome. Or how can you think about like calling out specific actions that you know are doing every single day that you can point out and say like this one thing, whether it's breakfast, something they're eating or doing or anything like that is actually the true cause of the problem that they didn't even realize it. So as they get into your high ticket program and, and as you call these things out, you can obviously, you know, kind of erase some of those problems that they're dealing with. That's that's one benefit to it, but also get closer to the outcome that they want the most um, by just developing a new set of habits, a new set of ways of doing it. So again, in your high ticket closing um, process, again, just showing the value of that, just having like a, a third party observer being able to call out specific things that Again, you might, you know, they might have thought like this is, you know, furthering my progress, but actually I didn't even realize it's the true source of my problems. And as I do something differently, that outcome that I thought was going to take a ton of work, it's actually not that far away. So use that as you uh, certainly have sales conversations in 2024. Um, and uh, I'll check you on a, a future live. Hit that like button on whatever platform you're watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. Drop me a comment below. What are some of those uh, uh, things that you could call out for your audience that might be sabotaging their your progress? And what are the things that you might have tried in your marketing uh, to call out as well? Uh, with that, I'll see you on a future live.